Let us travel now at the speed of light, departing from our home star on a trip across the cosmos toward the edge of the known universe. Our imaginary journey begins at midnight on January 1st, when we prepare to launch into space at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. We quickly pass the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and span the 93 million miles that separate the Earth from the Sun in just 8 minutes 19 seconds. We continue on, passing Mars, then the gas giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Finally, after five hours and 31 minutes, we race past Pluto and its companion moon. Our journey has taken us more than three and a half billion miles to the outer limits of our solar system. And it's still January 1st. Now we alter our flight path and travel in a direction perpendicular to our galaxy. Behind us, the nine planets in the sun quickly vanish from sight. The emptiness of space is broken only by the light of stars so distant they do not yet appear. A year passes. appear to converge. 100 light years from the Sun, patterns of gas and nebulous material from the arms of the Milky Way fill our view. 1,000 light years, the galaxy's arms and disks become more defined. Yet it is not until we have traveled at the speed of light for 100,000 years that the entire spiral shape of the Milky Way is recognizable. From here on, each point of light we see is no longer an individual star, but an entire galaxy composed of billions of stars.
It is a spectacular tapestry, so vast and diverse in its design, that the power of its creator must truly surpass all human understanding.